Hey everyone, it's Mikkel Thorpe from expatmoney.com here. And in today's video, we are going to look at how to get a second passport in St. Keats and Nevis. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to get the best of the expat world every single week. If you're looking for the ultimate in island living, while well, getting a second passport, you need to look no further than St. Keats and Nevis. And once you obtain citizenship, St. Keats and Nevis, you'll gain the ability to travel without a visa to 156 countries around the globe. Yes, you heard that right, 156 countries. And that what's, that's what makes this such an incredible second passport to obtain. Before we get into some of the details about the St. Keats and Nevis passport, let's take a closer look at the little-known dual island nation of St. Keats and Nevis. Located between the Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea, St. Keats and Nevis is known for her cloud-shrouded mountains and beautiful beaches. What was once sugar plantations are now inns or atmospheric ruins. St. Keats is the larger of the two islands and is dominated by a dormant volcano, which is home to a crater lake the green vervet mountain monkeys, and hiking trails in the rainforest. St. Keats and Nevis have been crowned the best citizenship by investment program in the world by professional wealth management, with perfect rankings in due diligence and integrity, ease and efficiency of application processing, and family friendliness. Now, about getting that second passport. Established in 1984, St. Keats and Nevis Citizenship by Investment Program is the oldest of its kind in the world. They offer citizenship to high net worth individuals and their families in a peaceful and prosperous part of the Caribbean, while providing visa-free access to over 156 countries, as mentioned before. These include Hong Kong, Singapore, the UK, and the Schengen area of Europe. And I know what you might be thinking, this program is only for the extremely wealthy, but it's not. Anyone can apply as long as they meet the requirements set out by the St. Keats and Nevis government. If you are a business owner, an investor, or a digital entrepreneur, you can apply. It's for anyone that understands the importance of protecting your wealth and your family's wealth. In addition to the global flexibility provided by this passport, it is also valid for life and is transferable to your descendants, which is truly amazing. And if that wasn't enough, St. Keats and Nevis does not impose any taxation on personal income, local or foreign, even if you live there full time. Some of the other benefits worth mentioning include dual citizenship is recognized, so you don't have to renounce your home country or anything like that. There is no physical presence required and no minimum stay is required. Your entire family is eligible, including your spouse, dependent children under 30 years old, and dependent parents or grandparents over 55 years old. It has a very speedy application processing time of just 60 days for approval. Now, what exactly happens in St. Keats and Nevis when you buy your citizenship? Well, we at Expat Money follow a strict due diligence process in full compliance with national legislation and international standards. The St. Keats and Nevis CBI program helps to fund community-focused projects that drive economic growth for local people and investors. There are three ways to obtain second citizenship in St. Keats and Nevis. They are the Sustainable Growth Fund, Real Estate Investment, and the newest option, the Alternative Investment Option. First, let's look at the Sustainable Growth Fund. The Sustainable Growth Fund, SGF, is the most secure and straightforward route to economic citizenship in St. Keats and Nevis. Families up to four will make a contribution of US dollars and be made directly to a government-held fund. The Sustainable Growth Fund represents the ongoing advancement of St. Keats and Nevis to realize its potential as a prospering small island nation with accelerating economy. Your investment will enhance your future as well as the future of St. Keats and Nevis. Next up, the real estate investment. You can gain a St. Keats and Nevis passport via real estate investment when you invest in a pre-approved real estate development. The minimum real estate investment required by law is $200,000 US dollars with the property resaleable after seven years or $400,000 with the property resaleable after five years. Lastly, we have the alternative investment options. This is the newest form of investment under the St. Keats and Nevis Citizenship by Investment Program. It facilitates investment in qualified infrastructural and other projects. And there are two categories. The first is called a public good project development 
PGPD, where the state owns the asset at the end of an agreement, and then the projects are fully funded by the PGPD and locked in up in upfront. The minimum unit of investment will be 175,000 US dollars plus fees. The second is a private enterprise developer, a PED, where the built-in funded asset is privately owned. In this option, the minimum unit of investment will be 200,000 US dollars and standard government fees will apply. And keep in mind, there will be some legal fees and additional expenses that are not included in these investment options. But we can break that all down for you if you can reach out to us at expatmoney.com. Now, let's go over the required documents. The list of documents required for citizenship by investment in St. Keats and Nevis is long and can be challenging to fill out. We found that if these documents are not done correctly, the process can take considerably longer than expected and in the end cost you more money than you thought. So it is vitally important to work with professionals with a proven track record when applying for your citizenship. My team at Expat Money are fully equipped to help you to organize and apply for the required documents all of these documents are to be submitted in English with an apostille stamp from their home country, and we can also assist you with that. As mentioned earlier, to obtain a second passport through the St. Keats and Nevis Citizenship by Investment Program, you will need to set aside approximately three to four months. However, the application can also be accelerated for a fee through the acceler Accelerated Application Process, AAP, which only takes 60 days. If we decide to work together, we will discuss the different types of programs you wish to invest in and can help you through the entire process. In summary, here is a review of the requirements for the St. Keats and Nevis Citizenship by Investment Program. You're going to need to submit a full application, have a clean criminal record, be in good health, be a high net worth individual meeting one of the qualified qualifications discussed in this video, possess impeccable character, be above 18 years old, and make a qualified investment. To sum it all up, having a second passport from St. Keats and Nevis is a smart investment and will likely be the best investment you make for yourself and your family. As I see it, our world will not be getting any calmer and we will not be getting any better anytime soon. So it is vitally important that you do something now to ensure that your wealth is protected. So it really is time to get a new passport. Here's what can happen if you don't act quickly. Well, the price can go up. Trust me, it never seems to go down. They can dismantle the program entirely. Cyprus recently did this. And they can modify the requirements as Panama did with their friendly nations visa. As I said, this will not be getting any better, so act now. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications on this channel. And while you're at it, be sure to bookmark expatmoney.com, which is also where you can reach out to my team for assistance with the programs we discussed in today's video.